today's video, I'm just going to be rolling up a blunt and talking to you guys a little bit. So I don't know if any of you guys noticed, but my name on YouTube has changed from Nova B to uh, High Guy. So if you ever see, so if you watch my other videos and you see Nova V, Nova B, you'll know where that came from. Um, honestly, the reason why it changed, it was a complete accident and I just didn't want to deal with it no more. So I just left it as Nova B. Oh, my bad. Uh, the High Guy. But I mean, it's not even a, that ugly name, so, you know, I wasn't that mad about it, so, it's whatever. But, how are you guys doing today? You know, I always ask that question, you guys know. These are my favorite kind of Dutches. But I don't even know, I think I want to switch to, like, healthier smoking, if you guys know what that means. Like, um, just using more of my bongs and, uh... What is it? Bongs and uh, joints. But yeah, I'm just trying to roll up a blunt real quick. I don't know if you guys ever tried this nasty juice for your vapes, but this shit is fire, fire. Like, this was one of my all-time favorites. But yeah, guys, um, I've just been chilling lately. I've been working a lot. But, yeah. But yeah, honestly, guys, I don't even know, like, what kind of videos you guys like so just put down in the comments what kind of videos you guys like or you want to see from me and you know i'll try to make videos like that so that i would actually have viewers and likes and subscribers because if you guys haven't noticed your boy is struggling with those <laughs> really struggling if you know what i mean but freaking yeah i'm over here struggling to those blind that's what's happening I don't know why. Every time I get on camera, it always I always like act like I don't know how to roll for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah. But yeah, guys, I didn't even realize that my camera wasn't recording. But yeah, I put a little crutch in here, you know, just to keep it all held up and everything. Make it smoke better. But yeah, guys, if you want to smoke with me, spark up. But yeah, guys, post, um in the comments if you guys want me to make a video on how to roll i'll do that for you guys but yeah as you guys can already tell i love to tell a little story time so freaking i'm about to tell you guys the time i got locked out of my car at like 2 a.m uh yeah so freaking, what happened? All right, so I was just leaving work and it was like, it was like 1.15, I think, around there, sometime around one, I know, cause that's what's how we got out. And freaking, And freaking anybody that knows me knows that I do not keep my tank filled up. I hate going to the gas station. I'll literally let my car get on zero before I go to the gas station. 
So when I got in my car to go home, of course, I was on empty. So I was driving to the gas station and I pulled up to the gas station and freaking I got out. And as soon as I got out, a freaking homeless guy walked up. And when this homeless guy walked up, like, as you guys, I don't even know. The homeless people around here are, like, creepy. Like, they'll try to, like, fight you if you don't give them money. So I automatically just shut my door so he couldn't get into my car. And without me realizing, I locked my keys in my car. So after I looked back and realized I locked my keys in my car, the hobo comes up to me or whatever and starts asking me for money. And I look at him, I'm like, listen, dude, I just locked my keys in my car. I'm sorry. I have nothing. And he was pissed or whatever, but I was like, I'm nothing I can do about it. So at that point, I call my mom. No answer. Call my dad. No answer. I called my uh, friend, no answer. Now, luckily, I was at a uh, I was at a good friend's house at the time. Well, I wasn't at their house. I was close by their house, and freaking, I walk there, and it's freezing. Now, it was freezing this night. Like when I tell you it was freaking cold, it was cold, and I was wearing a shorts and a freaking just shorts and a freaking um work shirt so you guys already know i was freezing walking the cars were that were going by would have me freezing and i was freaking dead but as soon as i got to my friend's house we freaking we i don't even know why when i got to my friend's house I was freaking uh, was throwing rocks at the window because the doors were locked. I was throwing rocks at the windows, calling them, throwing rocks, calling them, throwing rocks. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. And then I'm in the back, right? And the freaking sprinklers turn on. It's already freezing cold, and now I'm wet on top of it. When I tell you, my niggas, I was cold. I was cold. Uh, like. But. Finally, they opened the door. They went right back up and went to sleep. I go into the garage looking for anything to like break open my car with like I wasn't trying to bust the window I was looking for a crowbar or something I could freaking like pry my door open I ended up I ended up finding like a little pole and like these little plier things so I walk back to my car and it's still sitting at the gas pump and freaking the homeless guy is sitting on my car So now I have to walk back to my car and tell this homeless guy, what the fuck, why are you in my car? And I walk up to my car and I look at the guy and I'm like, can I help you? Why are you on my car? He's like, oh, I'm waiting so I can get some change. Really? You've been sitting here in the cold waiting so I can give you a quarter, 50 cents. I was like, I'm sorry, sir, but I can't help you right now. I'm totally like, I was so upset. I was so mad. I was cold. He was freaking, then he, I was annoyed because he was over here asking me for freaking money still. So then freaking, I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm trying to pry my door open. It's not, it's not working. I walk over and I get my door open to like this much. It's like maybe like this much. I got it open and the pole that I brought was not long enough to reach like my the button to unlock my door so while I'm sitting there prying my door open I'm having to freaking use this little pole that didn't even end up reaching 
So I was like, fuck, what am I gonna do? And at that point, I was just, I was so annoyed, so cold. No, I was on the phone with my cousin at the time, by, at this time, but she didn't have no car, so there, she, there was nothing she could do. She was there for freaking emotional support, basically. And freaking... She was there for emotional support. So... At that point, I got the bright idea to walk over to the tree and try to rip off a long tree branch. So it's like 1.32 a.m. at this time now. And I'm out cold and wet trying to freaking climb a tree to break a tree branch. Now, as you guys can see, I'm a, I'm a pretty big ass dude. Like me trying to freaking climb a tree it was ridiculous. I freaking got my ass in the tree. I got my ass in the tree. And freaking I I got three different sizes just in case they did not they didn't work. I got three different branches. Now these branches were the most It was so hard to break off. I could not they were so alive on the tree, I guess, that freaking, they did not want to come off. Now, when I tell you I was sitting there for like a good 15, 20 minutes trying to get these branches off the tree, it was no joke. So after, after I get the branches off the tree and I strip them so like I can literally fit it into this little hole like this that I have, the gap in my door, I couldn't. Like the strength, my strength, and with me trying to jiggle it was not working. So at this point, I'm starting to give up all hope. And then all of a sudden, I see a car pull up next to me, and I hear, I hear my name, hey, hey. And I turn, and it's my freaking plug, man. And he's like, yo, you're still out here? Because I had posted on Snapchat that I was outside and I got my freaking uh, keys locked in my car. So when they pulled up, they're like, yo, you're still out here? I was like, yeah, bro. But I was like, yeah, bro, I'm still out here. And he was like, damn. And he seen that I was trying to use the tree branch. So he was like, yo, let me try. So while I pulled on it, when I pulled on the door to crack it open a little bit more, he got in there and jiggled it. And the nigga unlocked the fucking door. When I tell you I was so happy, I was so grateful, like, I had to go cop right after that just because, like, I felt so grateful that he unlocked my door. Like, I don't think you guys understand. I was freezing cold. By this time, it was 3 in the morning. It was a crazy-ass night, guys. But if you guys want to hear any other stories or any other thing about me, put it down in the comments, and I'll read them. And I'll make a video about it. But this is High Guys signing out.